Welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in today. We've got something a little bit different to what I usually do, but it's still related. It's got two wheels. It's a bike. And it's going to be used in the garage. As you can see, I've got this old mountain bike. It's no good to man or beast. It's a pile of junk. You can't do anything with it. And this is the next best thing I think I could do with it. So I'm going to really quickly turn it into a perch stroke garage stall which is really perfect if you're working on your bike or just in the garage. It doesn't take up much space. You can slot it in the corner and you can just perch on it. Yeah, you're not going to be able to fall asleep on it, but you don't. sometimes you don't want to fall asleep. So it's just a perfect little perch. Anyway, let's get started. So it's all stripped down now as much as I can. The rest of the stuff will come off with a power tool. Um, I've left it like this with the wheels on because I think I could make a straighter cut on the tubes then rather than it being on the ground and a bit skew with. I lied, I need to break the chain quickly. taking shape now I've just got to smooth off the rough edges and we're nearly there And there you have it, there's my new garage stall stroke perch that was once an unloved, come to the end of its life, mountain bike. Now it's been repurposed and it will live on for many more years. I also think it looks quite good and it's sturdy. Maybe if you've had a few beers you could end up falling off of it, but other than that you should be fine. It's really handy as well because of the size of it and how thin it is. You can slot it into many places just for when you want to store it. Overall though, I'm very pleased. It hasn't taken very long and I'm glad I give it a coat of paint because it looks a lot better for it. But just looking ahead, I can already see some areas I could improve. For example, if you wanted to take this out into the garden right now, it would probably sink into the grass, especially if you're in the UK because it's wet. Maybe not in the summertime, but what you could do to prevent that is just stick on some flat bars to the bottom, weld them on. That would give it that security then, that good firm base. Then you'd switch the saddle around 
and where those old horseshoe brake systems used to go on you could weld like a foot plate or something and, and it would be like a bar stool then it's got quite a lot of potential actually when you start thinking about it but i'm going to wrap this video up there i hope you enjoyed this bit of content and maybe we shall see you in the future moto machines out